And I believe we're live on the twitch.tv slash the assumer. And my friends here on the sky bees. I don't know why I haven't done it before. Sounds of the bees are annoying. My volume was turned off because I've actually been AFKing in this world a lot and collecting resources and learning about mods and doing some other stuff. So if we roam over here, you'll see not a lot of sand and dust, as you know. We needed to farm a lot of this stuff. So let's go ahead and do just that. Uh-huh. Break it up with a hammer. Bam. And then we get to shove it all into here. So I was looking into possibly automating the creation of dust. Because it comes through our system, right? We can make cobblestone generation. We've got um, other things going on. Jeez, all the things. We've got all the things, peeps. Actually, you can see some of the stuff that I've been uh, looking at right here. This mod. Do we have, like... Do I have better tooltips on? How's that How's that go again? Yeah, I do. Welcome everyone tuning in. No April Fools today, it's a bit sad. Yeah, no no April Fools from Minecraft so far. I mean, they don't have to do it. Also, I, I noticed the BBC hadn't done it. I didn't really think about where else to go look. Uh, you know, with lockdown and the pandemic. You know, last year, maybe people would have planned some of their jokes already. I know Mojang's probably would have took quite some time to put together. Maybe this year, there's less of, like, feeling up to it or, like, it's the right time to do that kind of stuff. I don't know. Either way, it's up to them what they want to do. Uh, so down here, I was messing around with this item router mod. This seems like a really flexible mod where you can take a, an item router and do all sorts of stuff with it. It's very interesting. And what you can't do, you can break blocks, but you can't break a block with a custom tool. So I've been trying to find something that does this, like this block right here. I am, hang on a minute, that, that, that now sounds to me like it should use it. Maybe maybe I didn't test this. Did I get this? Oh wait, look, there it is. So I did, I did test this. So we've got power. I think what it does is it doesn't it right clicks instead of left or something maybe I mean if you right click with a block ooh did it place two interesting so you know we can place cobblestone I can't automatically break it with a hammer so if anyone knows I would love to Love to find out. Anyway, so while I've been investigating that, we've been creating sand and dust, as you just saw, from our bees. Uh, over here, we now have lots of glowstone dust. In fact, an entire stack. So I can turn all of that into endstone, crush it, and then get more enderpearls, which I think I did a little bit of. We've got two enderpearls, and I think we needed, like, four. Wow, this music is dramatic, says brilliant. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, and we like dramatic here. So, anyone in chat, Auto Hammer says Cypress Tree. I mean, that's not a thing, though. Anything in this pack that can use a hammer, that's what we're looking for. Use the hoppers, says Daisy. I mean, you're going to have to elaborate more. Use the hoppers? How do the hoppers... Wait, didn't I just have a full stack of glowstone and all I got was 48 and... Whatever. <laughs> I've been cheated of my free resources. I think that we might have run out of cobble back there again. I should really just make a generator and slap it on top already, but I haven't got around to that. Silic block miner if silic mod is in this pack. I literally was showing that, right? That's I'm pretty sure that's the same the same one. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh Joe Dragon. Uh you dislike April Fool's Day ever so much. I I, I think you got to take it with a pinch of salt. Just be light-hearted about it, right? What was the what was the suggestion? Oh, dang it. Oh, it was sucked into that. Right, now I know what you mean by hopper. Peeps, when you put messages in chat, be, be, be about what you're talking about. Saying it, that thing over there, turn left. It's, it's all on a delay. I'm talking about one thing, and I think you're talking about something else. Just specificity is good. Uh, someone suggested a block from Silic. I can't remember if they said item user. Was it item user? 
Daisy Life, no need to uh, apologise, it was just some simple miscommunication. It's called Block Miner from Silic. Right. I have not searched for blocks with the name Miner. Now, if we're able to put a hammer in there, then we're good. Can we put a hammer in there? Because I believe this, this might be a pain, but maybe not. But that's the big question. Can we put a miner in there, peeps? Probably, says Funder. Well, that sounds that sounds like you've played the mod pack. You know it inside out. And, you know, probably. <laughs> let's not let's not get some guesswork going on. For someone who's played this, let, let me know. <sighs> Sumo, I'd love to be light-hearted about it, my dude. Had to had many cruel jokes played in me through the years. Oh, I guess practical jokes being played on someone is different. I always think of it in terms of like stuff you see on the internet, silly news stories. But yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of playing practical jokes on people because they can they can be quite uh, they can be quite negative if you're not in the right space or you know just depending on what sort of person you are. What was the question? This block right here, miner, can we actually put a hammer in it? It says it mines a configurable area in front of the miner. It doesn't say you can put a hammer in it. Pretty sure that it breaks the block the miner is facing, says how nice are you. Again. Yeah, but with a hammer. I do not think you can put a hammer in it, says a Twitch user. My guess would be based on that description box, probably not. A couple other people saying I don't think you can't put in a hammer. Okay, so we're looking for something you can put a hammer into. That's what I'm trying to get at here, peeps. Is there a block in this pack that we can put a hammer in and use? We Can we automate the hammer? Funder says item user with a question mark. It's the, if you don't know, don't say because I've literally just showed this. I mean, I appreciate people trying to help, but like... Sometimes, I've done this before, I've tweeted out something like, Hey, I've got an issue with the the GQ796. If you have one, have you had this issue? Do you know about it? And I get a load of tweets from people like, No, I don't. And I, I'm like, I get it. You're trying to be helpful. You don't know about it. But like, I'm also trying to get tweets from people who could help. And all I get in my feed is tons of tweets from people who, uh, who don't know. That's happened a couple of times. And I appreciate it. I know people are trying to be helpful, but like, it's not helpful. Um... So yeah, if anyone if anyone does know, it would be great as opposed to guessing. But based based on on this, it's just oh. Pack wants you to use bees for everything. The sieves is just a beginning. Hey, I'm starting to think that now. Okay, so we'll probably pass over that idea. Uh, where are the noises in the year? We got you found the Okrana here for four months and Dub IGK here for 19. Thank you to the both of you for the incredible spot. Do appreciate it. Stab to death says, I remember there being something, unsure what it's called, going to log into my world and come up with the right name. Awesome, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, because if you've, if you've gone into the world and done it, then then we know. So, on on the current note that it seems to be... Seems to be, you get it? That we don't have that. Let's, uh, let's now go to the dimensional thing. This is it. So, we've got to build a dimensional core for this chest. And that involves those. We'll get four of them. Oh, so we actually need two for one. Oh, but we'd need... Yeah, okay. So we still need four ender pearls, right? So back to that. There we are. And I guess, well... Aren't we supposed to use this on the netherite one? I was about to... Uh, about to do it manually, and then I'm like, wait a minute. Isn't there a better way to do things here? Isn't there a block called Stoneworks Factory or something like that? Stoneworks. Material Stonework Factory? Yeah, it might be able to mine a hammer, but in order to do all this just to find out, I'd rather, I'd rather we actually know. Uh, Cosmic Camos, the uh, vein miner key is the uh, the one to the left of one, based on your keyboard. I think it's sometimes called Grave. Uh, Croc Samur is here with cheers and bits. I don't care. I don't dare watch too much as I'm catching up on YouTube and I'm working. But I thought I'd drop in and say hi. 
Well, thanks, my dude. I appreciate the cheers and the bits. If you want to watch the whole thing in order, then uh, it's all on the second channel for you to enjoy. I believe all the latest ones are out because it's been it's been like five or six days since we last streamed this. Now, I didn't see a single Ender Pearl pop out, but I wasn't exactly uh, examining it. Did we get super unlucky? We got five. Dang. Okay, now I want to put one back. I don't want to use the Ender Pearl. There we go. <laughs> Thank you again for those uh, cheers and bits. When he says X, the Pigman B is great and it drops glowstone dust. Yeah, we, we, I'm not quite ready to do Bree Bree bre, B. Words are difficult. Words are difficult. B breeding. <laughs> because we wanted to set up our dimensional thing first. That's that's how I kind of got distracted. In, in going through all the sand and the dust, I then was thinking, like, if I can just automate this, we'll get the ender pearls. So that's how I went down the distraction rabbit hole that time. You can blame me, it's all my fault, okay? We're all so low on iron. No, we're not. It gave me 17 and I already had a stack. I don't know. So we need two two of those, actually. Two dimensional cores and one, two, three, four. That many of that many of those. Aha, uh -huh. and we get our hands. Oh, what have I done wrong now? Okay, okay, add a little extra iron, I will. Pointless. Pointless. Also, what is that? Iron plate. 24 of them. Hey, I like that. That texture's gonna go in our industrial room. Oh yeah, industrial room. Let's go check it out, peeps. Industrial room hype. This is the industrial room. Like, I might want to keep this depth, or I might want to do something like this. If I went all out, I could perhaps have it as a wall, so you sort of see the depth. And then maybe maybe we put, like, glass in there. I don't know. That is going to be our uh, additional texture for this room, I think. Actually, I kind of don't mind it being level. So uh, we may just go for it like that. Looks nice. Anyway, um, all those blocks are in place, so we can we can get on without the distraction. Finally, finally, we get to find out: is this the thing we're after? Because so many people told me that it was. <laughs> Dimensional chest is an achievement as well. Interesting frequency. So it has a maybe maybe dim storage needs like a tool to interact with it. Doesn't have a lot of stuff going on here. Dimensional tablet. Oh, that sounds like a thing I need. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to cost me another uh, ender pearl. So looking at the amount of item. Mining dimension teleporter? Oh. Oh, just, you know, let's go down an advanced crafting table rabbit hole. No. No, I will not. I think this is glass, iron, obsidian, and then that. Which uh, we, of course... Surround with the iron. Uh huh. So then obsidian and some glass panes. Where's my obsidian at? Here it is. No? One? Really? You're gonna do me like that, are you? Okay, so some glass panes. Hopefully that works. Yep. Right, shift, right click to bind a dim chest. Oh, you know, with the tablet. I had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> I had a feeling. I, uh, I think I linked it. Wait, this is interesting. Oh! They are linked together. Wow. Did I link them together? I should have put something in first. Like, oh, what's this? Ah, there we go. Right, so we've got frequencies. Okay, I know how this works now. The dimensional tablet means I can use it like I can the quantum bag. I think this might be a replacement for our quantum bag as well. That's cool. Now, I like it when you, you play and you figure it out as you go. Uh, let's do the noises in the ear because we've got Rebecca 11. Gifting subs to Glooper, Mitsogum, 
Kyle and the Goat 12, Zach Pilot, Awesome 1, Triple 6, Rebecca, thank you as always for supporting our community. It is always appreciated. If you heard your name read out, be sure to say thanks in chat. We got the one, the only, the Liger Gaming, holding down the music channel and here for 10 months. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate it ever so much. We also got James Drew 27 here for 60 months in a row. Yeah, I had to press all the buttons to make that happen then. All the buttons. Cool. So now what we're going to do with our dimensional chests is work them into the system over here. We probably want more than two, but in order for us to expand, I think we decided that we wanted more honey bottles. Being said, uh, we kind of just need to breed and get them in here in groups of like eight. What is the next step? No, so I think this is not going to be it. It's going to be the bit in the middle. This right here. So I think I can simply change this to a dimensional chest. And then our entire system is intact. In the future, we will create um, less of these pipes and have more dimensional chests. But we need more enderpearls first. So we're going to use this with our item collector. Uh, oh, I had an enderpearl. Well, I could make one more chest if I wanted to, right? But I'm going to save that for now. So those will say stay linked. They have the same frequency. Uh, this means that we're going to go and break this chest. Which will probably then be put in the item collector, funny enough. Okay. So if I... Yep, there you go. Business as usual. The pipe below takes it out. What's not business as usual is that we can do the same thing over here now. Ah, I threw those things away deliberately. Uh, whoopsie. Okay, it might just pick them up and put them in there, which would be a huge pain in the bum if it does. So we want to go out here somewhere and just throw them away a little further away. No needs for the swords, the axes. I think we deliberately wanted to throw away a chisel. A shovel. That kind of looks about right. Right, for the backpack, we'll put our uh, tools back in. And we got another noise in the ear. It's Rebecca11. Here with the biddies. It's Evil X's sixth birthday today. Where is he? We miss him. Oh, yeah. Evil X was originally like an April Fool's thing, right? Old Evil X, you know, you might see him again, you might not. I can't make any promises. But I'm glad y'all are thinking of him. He's definitely not in your hearts, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Appreciate it, of course. Hope you're enjoying the stream. What do we got here? We've got things that can go in our backpack. I mean, that can go in there for now. Energy cables up the top here. We've got item collectors. We're going to put the item routers over here for a future project. Look at us. Clean, organized. Did I pull this thing out thinking I needed to place it down? Because we got this here. Huh. I think I did that. So, uh, we, we still got that going on. Now, the next thing we need to do is just see what damage it's caused over here. Probably at this level. Yep, look at that. The hoe went in. The chest went in. That appears to be it, though. These things will activate when the uh, the honeycomb stuff comes through. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go and get rid of this hoe. So now we're ready in that new area to put in new types of B. In our backpack, we have RGB, B. The RGB, B? I could basically put all eight in them. Eight of them in there. Let's click on U for uses. Hmm. Or maybe R for recipe. Now, what we want is the B itself. Uh, then U for uses. B breeding. So I can breed it with iron to get mana steel. I thought there were more than that. Let's try U. Is it really just one? You just turn it into the mana steel. Is that correct, peeps? I thought there was way more going on than that. Hmm. 
Oh, it's a different one then. Okay. Um, maybe we should, you know, head towards the Enderpearl B, right? So we need to we need to get some notes down. We need to get like a, a path that we're working towards. So Ender B and Ender B, obviously. Ender B. Oh, okay. We were on the right. Well, actually, no, no. Wait, this is confusing again. Do I press R or U? There was something different I had to do here that I wasn't thinking about. Someone explained it to me. Because this doesn't make any sense that we would breed those two to get... Oh no, wait, a Terra Steel. I'm missing something. Press R on the B. Okay, R is recipe. Oh, there it is. Okay, I missed it a second ago. So, Pigman B and Cobble. We've got Cobble. Or at least it's a craftable one, right? So we got to just double check that. Yeah, it's a craftable one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Modded Minecraft staring at a, uh, a recipe tunnel, whatever you want to call it. So we have a 10% chance between dust and sieve to get the pigment bee. So this is where we need to start getting these bees out into the open, but they can despawn. And I still didn't get that command stuff figured out. Because then I struggled with making the list. So I think what I'll do is I'll do command block per B. Let's go grab that command. Because I goofed it up. Well, I say I goofed it up. I kind of got stuck at the uh, data pack level. When you make a data pack, you have to get like everything in the right spot. Even if you know what it is you want it to do. Like it has to be perfect. And uh, I didn't get that far in. So... I was worried about this happening. Where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah, okay, I got the command. That's good, that's good. So, Civ B and Dust B are the ones. Make Diamond B, says original 424. No, that's not what we're trying to do. Make the diamond pee. Oh, we'll just make it quickly. I mean, we're literally we're literally breeding up the bees to eventually get there, right? Okay, I think I know. I think I know. I'm going to do this. I think I might do it. Sort of building a new area as well. Let's rip out this and grab. Oh, we still need to do XP and enchanting. So much to do. But it's mostly just bees at the moment. We're going to grab these. Uh, we'll make some more in here. I'm going to create a platform. We're going to have some command blocks sort of on display. Yeah, two blocks out like that. Now I need my uh, wands, which is going to break. There it goes. Probably going to need a, a lot more uh, of those stone blocks as well. You can put the hammer inside of the miner and it gives you gravel. I just checked, says Yishi. Uh, which miner is that? Because I've experimented on the miner block and it doesn't. So why did it start ignoring that? That's weird. Huh. And we got more noises popping in. Dang, so many. I can hear them going off. So this is going to be like a, a bee containment area where we put the bees we want to breed. And then we have a command block there to kind of uh, interact with them, I guess. Oh, it's, it's going to be a pain to have these command blocks in. In fact, I might, I might put them out of view. I'm not sure what to do with them, basically. <laughs> hey, what's going on with these noises? Let's check it out. Oh my goodness me, 20 gifted subs. Well, first of all, Anonymous, thank you for gifting the sub to Empress of Doom. Manix Boy is here for 52 months in a row, and 
Baytad Daniil, I'm probably butchering that name, has gifted 20 subs. Oh my goodness me, thank you so much. Appreciate you supporting our community. Uh, these are the names, these are the names. Rick Tail, Kevin Apple, uh, Ch Chicago Genius, Raul Matadero1, Jepita1, Cloud D Milk, Planet09, Hambrun AXD, 0H1, TG Martins, Pedro Mother5, uh, Footy264, Pack8 Sama, Akiitsu, Sky Levity, U U U U U Y, <laughs> uh, Onquilly, Rogue Seven Five One Three, Mac Boshock, and Oreo Irony. Thank you for gifting those subs, Baytan Deal. Do appreciate it. We also got a Rebecca Eleven gifting a sub to Silver Winds. Support for the community is amazing with those gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, as we established. This is the way that we want to go. So we're going to grab those. We're going to put in some windows and try and find some semi-interesting blocks. Maybe we'll come back and uh, make this look a little prettier once we get one of these things going. So my th my thinking here... We're going to have the wall. Entrance here. You can see into the room because it's going to be uh, full of bees. And in this room, like the floor at the moment, just being like this is a bit lame, but hey. Uh, how big, how much space do they need? Not a lot, really. Yeah, so we get more of those wood blocks, more of the sugar cane. Basically keep it <coughs> kind of the same materials. Mm. Not got a lot of those, have we? And one of them. Great. <laughs> we are lacking on materials left, right and centre. But we've got sticks. Lots and lots of sticks. Lots and lots of si sticks. Uh, Gilonzo is here subscribing. Gilonzo, thank you ever so much. Appreciate the support. Hope you're enjoying the stream. There we go. Lots of them. Probably too many. To make lots of these. Okay, and then we need the uh, sugarcane blocks. The gold bricks would go good with this pallet. They would, but, you know, we haven't farmed gold endlessly yet. How do I get you to face the way I want? Oh, is this a what block did you place it on type deal? So I've got to put something behind it. Well, that'll basically be that. So I guess I've got to place this like so. Oh, this block um, doesn't have like the added height incursion. It's interesting. What does it? No, it doesn't. Standing directly on top of it. So for now, we're not going to fuss too much about uh, decoration. It's just uh, just a demonstration room, let's say, for our bee breeding. Okay, uh, what's next? Because we can put them in there. Then we've got to do the stuff with the uh, command blocks, sadly. We need our cobble. Which I'm guessing, have we already put up top? Are there already cobble bees out here? Wait, wait, don't go in. Oh, we can look at it here. Coal, ice, cobblestone. So we already did cobblestone bees. That's good. What are we breeding? Cobblestone and... No, I can't even remember. This is so tricky. Why did I think we were using cobblestone? We've got to do dust and sieve to get other types. So we don't even need to, you know, do anything new just yet. We need to just get the dust and sieve ones out. Civ is here. They look like zombies. Coal. Cobble. Dust. Right. 
What is a good way to get them out of there? I guess I could make them angry. Uh, that might be bad for... Oh, there you go. Doesn't take long. Okay, so we just got a whole bunch of those ones together. Let's go empty our inventory quickly. Up we go. Uh, now we want... Hmm. Sieve. Sieve, sieve, sieve. Which we might not have a lot of, actually. Two sieve. Really? Is that all I got? It just tells me it's a regular honeycomb in there. Hello! That's free. And we can craft more. It does just say regular... Although maybe that's all it produces, right? Like the sieve one just produces regular honeycomb. Because what else would it drop? Sieves? So heading back down here, we've got to probably make a few more sieve bees. Which, I think I'm looking for a egg. Aha. Uh -huh. So we want five of those. Which means we'll need a few more of that. And then we'll need some sieves from somewhere. Okay, where are we going to get sieves from? Uh, we used to have them... Um, aha, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. Simples. Simples. Cool, good stuff. I think the room that I made a second ago is nowhere near big enough for the operation that we're going to uh, do here. So let's go grab more of those building materials again. It's all a learning process, peeps. Hey X, the bee beacon or something like that is supposed to prevent bees despawning in the case that that prevents you from using command blocks. It's supposed to be a later game thing. Oh right. Bee beacon? I don't know. I don't see anything like that. It just it just seems like such a downside that they would despawn. Like it makes it really difficult to breed them and stuff. Anyway, uh, we wanted the no, yeah, that's the ones we wanted. Them maybe maybe a few more. Uh huh. No, what did I do wrong? And then we want those and those, which we have plenty of. Cool, let's go in there and make it a little bit bigger overall. Beacon. Oh, right. Got it. There it is. Oh, it says it prevents them from teleporting as opposed to despawning. Some of that, if, if purple ain't too tricky to make... I don't know where you get started on that. Maybe visiting the end. Let's get this thing back. Uh, I think I'll go one more. Break that, because we don't want it there or there, actually, as it goes. There it is. Right, slightly bigger room, probably needs a torch in it, I think. The resourceful bees, guys, says it prevents despawning. Yeah, I think I'll just go with the command block thing. I, I mean... I don't know what to trust, what to do, really. It's a bit of a disappointment, but uh, we have to try something, and we can't make that thing, so. I want to come back here. Torches? Just make sure there's light in the room, essentially. Okay, so in here, what we're going to do... Oh, I also got to grab sieves and dust to breed them. Dang it. 
And we're not generating any more dust right now. Because they're MIA. So yeah, what I can do in this space, kind of like we had the room over there. I go in. Plop one down. Plop the other down and breed them. Ah! Ugh. Oh, that uses a poppy, doesn't it? Oh, dang. Okay, here we go. The other one's probably bored now. And with that, we get a totally new type of bee. Don't take damage. I saw that. Fluix. Mmm. That can be used for uh, stuff later on, can't it? So, now I guess what we want to do is put these two back away. Although, no, what I want to do is keep them out here, but I don't want them to despawn. Because we need them to... Do you know what? I, ugh, I'm not going to bother with the command blocks. I'm just going to go put them back in their, uh, their thing. You know what I mean when I say that. You know exactly what I mean. And then I guess they'll eventually be ready for breeding again. Just the, the idea of using the command blocks, it just feels like something's going to go wrong. Okay, so that time we got... Oh, look, it took damage. The little ones take damage when they fly up. So our roof probably needs to be made out of a non-solid block. We've got redstone with that one. Do I got a chest? You could just put down a hive for them to go into. Yeah, but they won't grow up when they're in the hive. That's that's my issue. Is like you can't leave them out because then they don't because then they despawn. But then you want them to spend time outside so you can breed them again, right? So we want to just leave them alone in a in a in a place so that they they're breedable again. That's when we need the command blocks. We'll do the command blocks. I'm just hesitant about it. For now, we can uh, we can do this. All right, some dust, and let's see what we get this time. That looks like a very different type of bee that I don't want flying up and taking damage. It's a creeper. We've got a creeper bee. Dang. Oh, almost. You almost got away. So once we get a pair over here, we then want to leave them in the world, but not have them despawn. That's that's the issue. Itch JL says name them. Well, we don't have name tags, and I don't think that's a guarantee that, that it'll work. Oh, that's all the Civ bees that I had, so I made more. Got it, got it. What will we get this time? You are taking damage again. Got ya. Quartz B, cool. Ugh. They like to go all over the place, don't they? Ah, which one was it? I think it was that one. Actually don't know where that went at all. Okay, let's try again. We'll find out soon enough if we got the wrong one. And it isn't this one. Little guy, don't take damage. Woo, got ya. Woo, woo. There we are. This one is Surtur's Court. So we're just getting loads of different stuff now. Loads of different stuff. Gonna need, uh, gonna need some more glass over here. There's a bug with the bee box that means they instantly grow up if you put them in a bee box and take them out. Oh, cool. Bee box? Let's check that out. I mean, some good old bug exploiting. Oh, what's it called? Bee box? 
I don't see I don't see a thing here called the B box. When will help it, Hermits Helping Hermits return, says Red Star? I mean, it hasn't gone away. It just takes place on Mondays, right? So it will return on Monday. Uh, we've got a noise in the ear. we got Nitsu Abub here gifting a sub to Mishy Fishy. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, dude. We've got Rebecca11 gifting a sub to Nitsubub. There you go. You give one, you get one. <laughs> Thank you so much for that gifted sub, Rebecca. Appreciate it. Right, so I can't even remember the shape. Is it that? Nope. It's like that. Every time I can't remember. So I guess, yep, yeah, we're ready to go again. Okay, um, so that one, this one, and here we go. Oh, yeah, no damage! That is, that is quite concerning that they do that. That was a dust. Ah, that was how we got dust before, right? Oh, no, no, wait, look. I've done it the wrong way around. Hey, we got two. no. They just look. They look similar. I thought they were the same color there. Okay, next one. Oh, there it is. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Yo, yeah. grabbed ya. I grabbed ya. Skeleton. Wow. Okay, last two. Last two dirt faces in chat. Why we got dirt faces in chat? Over here, over there, over here, over there. Come on, dude. Ah, I know what that means. There we go. Hey, we got two creeper ones. So if we can figure out what this B block thing is to in make them instantly grow up, then what we have is the ability to uh, to speed this along a bit, essentially. Small bree bees take damage when they grow up. That's why Hypno's done his breeding outside. I think you're, what you're saying there contradicts itself. I think you're saying that they do take damage when they hit blocks, right? Because it keeps taking damage when it hits the ceiling. If it took damage when it grows up, then why would Hypno do it outside, right? I think it's he does it because in so they're not near other blocks. So uh, what we'll do is replace the ceiling. Well, that that has. I mean, do half slabs damage them? I don't know. Could replace it with glass, but then the wall thing's all messed up. Another idea is that we put all the original bees away and just go back to this space over here, and maybe because leaves don't damage them, right? But. Try using honey blocks, they're slightly, slightly smaller than a regular block. They would, but... Uh... In my gameplay of this pack, babies take damage in glass blocks when they grow up. Lost a few that way. Uh, oh, maybe... Well, let's just continue. Look, we... You know, maybe, maybe changing all the glass doesn't help. This room could probably be a little bit bigger, I would say. Feels kind of small. Let's actually do that. That'd be kind of kind of simple to just make it a little bigger. A 
put an extra one, an extra two. Okay, and then where's my wand gone? There we go. Now to tear all of this out. It's slightly bigger. Uh, do I have any glass? I do, apparently. Might have been a smart idea to use glass panes as well. Just use less glass overall. Okay. Slightly bigger room. That feels nicer. Uh, I did put everything away, almost. Okay, so now for the bit I really don't want to do. Uh, we're going to place this, for now, possibly temporarily. I can't actually place it. Which makes sense. So we need two of them for, let's put it back a block, two of them for two types, right? Um, so here I have the command. Data merge entity type. Here's where we need to change it because I couldn't get that list done. So we change this. And it'll even tell us. So resourceful bees, right? Uh, let's type out the rest of that. Resourceful bees. And the two types we have are the sieve B. Okay. The rest of that command will do the de uh, anti despawn thing, right? Persistence required. Here, we change from sieve B to dust B. Done. Now, you could have those running. Let's uh, change to... Oh, yeah, we can use F3 and 4. I forgot about that. Uh, tell you what. Swap back quickly. Now we want to make a timer. I think. So we need the clock. So some gold, some redstone... Uh, more redstone, redstone torches, thing in the middle. I might have some of those things in the middle somewhere in here. Because I only recall making uh, a couple of things with it. Is it in here, possibly? Hmm, maybe not. So the thing in the middle... Ah, uh, yeah, maybe I need it made exactly what I wanted. So stone and gold nuggets... Apparently only had one. Okay, so we take that. Make that. Put the rest in. Good stuff. Also, uh, we want a repeater. Now, I don't know if it outputs a soft or a hard signal, so uh, we'll just use a repeater. This is temporary. I'm probably going to end up moving this, right? Oh, yeah, you got to click on the right bit. So, 20 seconds. Nah, every uh, 200. But but the deal is, like, once I put them all in there, they'll have it and they won't get tagged again. Okay, yeah, it is, it is going. So now, I really need to clear the inventory again. Okay, so, um, now when we put them in there, they are going to get updated by those command blocks, but only once. They won't get tagged twice, which is how the command is supposedly efficient. So everything we now put in here will stay here and not despawn, which is important. Just get all of them, really. Modified entity of data sieve. Oh, you can see it in action down there. That's terrific. 
What we won't see is it do it over and over again because I've done this uh, the correct way, hopefully. Now, this allows them to spend the next five minutes outside of... Oh, actually, it's going to only get two every single time. So if I, if I then change this to be on repeat, it would get all of them really quickly because it actually only targets one of them at a time. And when it stops finding them, that's when we'll stop seeing the messages. Uh, we've got Smartin1018 here for 59 months. So close to that, Evil X. Hey, I just found it. It's definitely called Bee Box. Resourceful Bees Bee Box. Just checked. Also, Hermit Cret. Hemp Cret is a great early building block. Oh, okay. So, maybe it's a creative mode thing because I don't see it in here. Um, hemp crept. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, that stuff's not... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it comes from that. Have we farmed that yet? Now, the dust is a little... Uh, that's not so bad, actually. It was earlier. It was a bit pricey. That's actually, yeah. That'll probably mix in with that other room pretty well. Let's go check it out. So, did we actually get hemp farmed over here yeah I think we did not oh no we did wow so let's grab a little bit of that then we need some clay balls and I reckon that might fit the other pallet chronic sonic says I listened to assumer says I was just wondering if it ever do an official podcast uh I've tried to do some podcasty type stuff with that channel. If you go check it out, there are some like hour long videos on there, but uh, I, I just felt like. Oh, wow, you get a lot from this. The podcasting thing just doesn't quite work out for me. As much as I'd like to, it's. I don't know, just haven't got the right framework for it, I guess you could say. Something like that. Oh, yes, that's, that's going to go well in here. Those two blocks will work wonderfully together. We need a chest. There we go, we got one. <laughs> that was easy. Uh, so notice how we stopped seeing commands now as well. By the way, Rebecca, thank you for gifting a sub to Mr. Polymath for nine months right there. Appreciate it. Appreciate it ever so much. So now we need like a, a five minute timer until they can breed again. But uh, well, what are we at? 52 minutes. So 57 peeps. Five minutes from now. Set your alarm clocks. Check for the redstone clock or something like that you can choose when to have every to have output every x amount of ticks it's a block we literally just use that uh nought morale that's literally what we just used yeah so in five minutes we need to, i'll tell you what well i'll have a drink of water right now mm. and uh then we get to do another round of all of that what we can do now though is actually Oh, I should leave... No, I want to leave two of the babies out, but we're going to have issues with them. Uh, 43 tags, that's a lot of tags. We're going to have issues with them possibly despawning. Hmm. And possibly taking damage. Also, I'm not sure if... This is a good spot to do all this. I... Oh. Keep, like, you, you get tons of stuff in your inventory, you put it back, and then you need it again. Mm, excuse me, burping. That's what's happening right here. I cooked myself a sagaloo for, uh, for lunch today. Man, so tasty. Curry with, like, potatoes, spinach, and peas. Really good, really good. Scrumptious it was. So yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have this big area here so that we can keep our baby bees leash now. Don't go anywhere! Oh, you tried to get away. Sneaky! Sneaky bees! Trying to head to mummy and daddy, aren't you? I know how this game works. Oh man, they are ugly. <laughs> but also awesome. Oh! Very cool. Hey, no, come look at me for my thumbnail. Help. Oh! We've got to wait for that perfect moment. Oh, look at my face. Oh, I'm so productive when I play Minecraft. Oh. Hang on. I think, I think, I think I'll have to use like a super zoomed in thing. Let's try one more time. 
Dude, come down. That, that was almost perfect. We want the sky in the background. Okay, look at me. That might do. That might do. Ah, oh, turning. Come down. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Come on, turn. That's it. No, the other one's in the... Oh, good lord. Okay, I, I, I don't know. One of those will have to do. I took a whole bunch. Hopefully one of them's a good enough angle where you can see its face looking at you. Hold gunpowder, people are saying. Why didn't I read chap a moment ago? Why did I not read it, eh? I think I have like one gunpowder from that one creeper. Oh, there's a good point. How are we supposed to breed them? I guess the first few will start making gunpowder for us, essentially. Dude, look in. There we go. Definitely got it that time. Right. So, they're there doing their thing. They've got to grow up. That'll take 20 minutes. He's only need five. Do they have an uwu face? Possibly. They possibly have an uwu face. I could uh, I could get these ones growing up, but I think we'll grow them up when they're a pair. Um, yeah, so while we wait, we do need more we need more of these, obviously. So we need a bit more glass. That being said, we've got quite a bit there. Put some stuff in to smelt. Sometimes there's stuff left over that's useful, like that, and that, and a bit of stone. Uh, take that back out again. There we go, only got another nine out of that. And we'll be breeding the same ones again, so we'll need our poppies, and we will need our dust. That was right. Yeah, we got a fair bit of that. Breed time, says Kato. It is breed time, isn't it? Oh, I see what you mean. It literally is. It's 57 minutes. So, uh, actually, this is a bit awkward. A little bit awkward. But maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I've got to do one more really important thing before I forget. Okay, we need to go into creative mode. Middle click. Put it to the side so it gets powered by it. In there, we want to change the sieve bee to the creeper bee. And there you go, done. Did you get? Yep, modified one of them, and next time it'll modify the other one so they won't despawn. Notice how they'd be. Oh, now I can make a good thumbnail because you're not trying to, you're not trying to go everywhere because all your your parents went inside after. Jeez, jeez, Louise, why do I even bother? Right, one B, two B. Breed. That's how we roll. Catch the baby bee before it takes. Did I get it? I got it. And it's a nether quartz bee. Ooh. Ooh, I say. This is where having two rooms becomes more effective because I can go put the ones that haven't bred in the other room. Ah. Ah, next time we'll do it that way around. But for now. Oh, we got a dust bee. Why did I think it was a. No, 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 no. There you go. There you go. That makes sense. So nether quartz and nether quartz. So we want to put those down. Then we're going to need another command block. Ah, oh, dang it. Another one. Ed Network is here for 56 months. Ed, thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Where'd my leads go? Like, where are the leads at, homie? There they are. Going to need these two, right? One for you. Don't go off the edge. No. Trying to get away. Oh. Oh. Almost disastrous. So, once again, you know the deal. I definitely need to get this worked up into a list and made into a data pack. But I just, I just feel like I'm going to butcher it. 
Am I deleting? Yeah, okay, there we go. What was it again? Was it the Quartz Bee? I think it was the Nether. Yeah, Nether Quartz Bee. Bam, got it. Now what we'll see in chat is the updating of those extra two bees. Assume you could just put the command blocks in an MC function file and make a data pack that run it every tick. That is exactly what I want to do, but you got to get every single little bit of it right. If you get a tiny bit wrong, and you know I don't know how to put every file in the correct spot. One thing I could do actually is instead of using a list, it might be easier to write them all out individually. But TBNR says it's effort. It's effort that's worth it. The problem is. Why is there sieve on my screen again on the right? The problem is um, it's just that it's so easy to make a mistake. And I don't want to make a mistake, right? Uh, so that's why we're just doing it with command blocks. Because at the command block level, I know how to not make a mistake. Okay, there we go. I'm ready to catch a little baby bee. Where the bell? Oh, the bitty creeper. Oh, oh. Take your damage. Taking damage, fool. I should leave those two in there now for a moment. Just so they can get a little bit more of that healthy uh, cooldown time. Oof, we got you. We got you. Trying to get see it. Modified the data of the creeper bee. That's what we want it to do. There we go. Uh, 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 got you. Got you, got you, got you. Uh, we got Krebstar here for four months. Thank you so much, Kreb. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. We do actually need to expand the amount of these chambers pretty quickly because when they're adults, they're going to want their own little chamber to get their uh, get their numbers up right. So this whole area needs an expansion, and I think what we'll do is actually try and develop a different block palette for it. Oh wait, wait, wait! Catch the little guy before before bad things before bad things. Oh no! Put him down again. No! Jeez, he almost died. Oh, X, you are terrible, they said. You are not looking after these redstone bees. Okie dokie. Um... Oh! There we go. I didn't know bees could be so tricky. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, we'll let... Uh, I was going to say we'll let them roam. Let's not, actually. Let's uh, keep you in here for the moment. Okay. Before we do our block palette, we're going to do the whole round here. We've got to do the creative mode thing again. So, what I'll have to do is that over here and over there. So, we've got three doing the same one. Break the one in the middle. We can get rid of that. I'm going to change this one to the redstone. Redstone B. Done. And we'll see it get modified. Oh, survival mode. There we go. There we go. See, I didn't even cheat in the uh, the redstone that I'm going to use over here. That's that's how much of a good non-cheaty player I am. We won't actually see it get activated until that redstone gets powered now I think about it. Totally non-cheaty over here, you know? I mean, saying don't cheat when you're playing modded is a, is a little bit of a funny statement really, isn't it? You know? Bit of a funny statement to make. Anyway, let's get back in there. There we go. Those will no, 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 with the words. They won't despawn. Right, I'm ready to catch a little guy. I'm ready to catch one. Little guy! Got ya. Woof. Woof. We haven't seen the one we want out of this yet, have we? We just got a Certus Quartz. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is getting out of hand here, isn't it? I didn't, I didn't think this would get out of hand so quickly. So we're going to definitely have to uh, change this up pretty quick. Right, where the lead's at, homie? Don't go off the edge. Don't go off the edge. There it is. Now I don't know... Wait a minute. Now I don't know which one... Okay, so if we find one that's stubborn... It's going to possibly be that one that we swap it out for, right? 
We got Krebstar here with the cheers and bits, saying you're one of just a few streamers that I watch. Your gameplay, chat interaction, and meaningful conversations makes you one of the best out there. Also, that music. The sweet, sweet music. Thanks for everything, and keep up the fantastic work. Uh, glad you like what we do here, my dude. I appreciate the cheers and bits. Thank you for uh, supporting the channel, of course. And uh, thank you again for those kind words. I mean, there hasn't been much meaningful conversation today. I've mostly been screaming at baby bees, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Dark Commands 099, thank you for 26 months of support. Appreciate it, my dude. Appreciate it ever so much. Let's do uh, like that, and then... Uh, with the noises. Right, baby bee time. Gotta catch that baby bee. Oh, you're purple. Get the... Got ya. <laughs> okay, that was the first one that we got, if I remember correctly. The first one that we got was a purpley Fluix. Yeah, did I uh, did I set up the Certus Quartz B over here? No, I kind of got distracted. So, let's take care of those... Come on! Oh, no! No! It went straight off! It did the it did the quickly off now. Wait, I mean, oh maybe I should have gone after it by pillaring up. I've I've only got dust. Where you at, homie? Where you at? Oh, that guy just went for it. Oh, homie, homie, no. Oh, we got you. We got you. I rescued you, little cotton socks. Trying to get away. Trying to get away from X and his command blocks. Ugh! Almost fell off. Ed says you'll have to cheat you spawn another one. I could make that a rule for myself if uh, if they go off the edge, you know. But we'll try and avoid that. There we go, little guy. How's your how's your your brother, your your sister, your your sibling? Because all, uh, all the Minecraft mobs are gender neutral, aren't they? So that's your sibling right there. How's that one doing? Okay, they're all good. Right, so we've got two things... ...to add. Now, because the redstone points into those two blocks, they in theory power the next ones along. So, yes, this is very ugly. Yes, we're going to change it. Oh, no, I need to do that first. So we add Certus Quartz B... Got to make sure I spell it all correctly. Certus Quartz B. And then the other one was Fluix. Fluix B. Done. We should very soon. Bam. There you go. It's, uh, it's keeping them alive. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Switch back. Okay, so uh, back to... Back to this. Still haven't seen that one that we're after, the 10% chance one. And what did we get? Bam. We got... Nether Quartz. Okay, those three look very similar. Right, two more bees to go. Two more bees to go. How lucky will we get? Come on, baby bee. Ugh, ugh. Dude. Ugh, there we go. There we go. Making me panic. Now, I think we've already got that type, so it'll go out with the others. Certus Quartz, we have indeed already got that. Trying to get away, I saw that. And look, it got modified straight away. That's exactly what we're looking for here. All those ones up the top, all those different types up there, they can get modified as well. When he says bad RNG here. Yeah, random number game at the moment, isn't it? That is what it is. Because we had a 10% chance of getting the one that we're after. So we've got to breed them like 20 times to get two. Uh, no, I did the wrong thing. Yo, oh. no, no. 
So those other two that we bred, I did uh, put the right ones back in here, it would appear. Right, little guy, don't go anywhere. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. They're so cute. I still have that gunpowder now. They are so cute. I think that might be my uh, thumbnail. I don't know what it will be. That one's definitely trying to get away somewhere. Right, so when I put them all back in there, it'll be like another five minutes. But I think what we'll do is move this somewhere else. I think I know where I'm going to move it to. So let's go ahead just clear out some hotbar space. Uh, I'm going to take that, take this, and put it just basically along here. Okay. Actually, I want something that's free wide, technically. I'll put it over here in case I want to make it wider. Um, so this is a bit like out of, out of the way kind of spot. Let's check that. Let's uh, change it to 200 again. Okay, so we're done with those. Now we're going to grab these. One, two, three, four, five six place them in a row okay then we can get rid of all of those and what was the last one the last one was redstone B and it was that one there that I didn't take right Fluix B redstone B yeah okay right so they'll all be active over here once I put some redstone on top of it what I think I'm also going to do is just put all of our other B-types along here as well. So another bunch of those and then we can put them on the other side if we want to as well. Go back over here. Break all of that. Put that redstone back. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, those, those, sound, those sound really cool. A shoot, a brick hopper, an ender watcher. Hmm. Also, that that block looked like prismarine, like gravisand. Dang, quark's got some interesting sounding stuff. Okay, let's go into spectator. So, what ones have we done? We've done. Actually, I can go to survival for a second. We're gonna have to make a list: steel, coal, icy. I'm gonna lose track. Where's my list? Steel, coal, icy. Okay, I don't know what was in there, but it's probably going to be cobble and dust. Cobble and dust. I think we've already done dust, so cobble is next on the list. Uh, prismarine, sieve, and sand. Didn't we do sieve and sand already? We'll write it in, just in case. I'm pretty sure we did sieve and sand. Then we got iron. And we got zombie. Uh, we want to do the regular bee. That'll actually be it then, unless there was something different over the end here. Okay, so... Just going to wing it around here for a second. Let's check what we've already done. Quartz, dust, creeper. I've written down sa sand, sieve and sand, but I didn't write down dust. Sieve is there, okay. Right, so this one's going to be sand. Sand beat. Actually, going to replace it so they all have a shorter one. Okay, so sand is done. Then we got steel. That's this one. Coal. Right, then we got cobble, stone. See, so I wrote down cobble. I had a feeling that might be different. 
Uh, Prismarine be next. Prismarine! Sweet. Uh, we done sieve, we done sand, iron. Did I do iron already? Why do I got a weird thing I did iron? Coal, steel, sand. No, I haven't done iron yet. Iron beat. Zombie. And then the regular bee. Actually, we know the regular ones don't because we've got loads just sitting out in the open. So that's it. That's everything. Get rid of that. Uh, let's just put ourselves down here. Uh-huh. Go grab the sand. Sand. Jeez, I don't know what I'm grabbing. There we go. Redstone, that's the one. So there you go. It's modified the data of a sand bee. So now when they pop out, every now and then they're going to get made to so their persistence required or whatever. There you go. And that'll ensure that all of those get activated. There you go. Modifying the uh, data of some of them that are out and about. Look, the redstone wants some. Ah, ah. We can breed them with the redstone. The other ones, though, might be a bit trickier to breed. Um, okay, we need to get these out and about. Problem is, when we do that, all of these are going to want to go, like, in there. It's going to be chaos. We're just, I think we're just going to have to do it, because we want, we want another five minutes to go by. So that we can breed more. Let the chaos begin. Last four. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, they're not actually trying to get over there. That's interesting. Okay, so we want to design a new cell. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit tricky. Let's first of all start off with the floor, which will, for the most part, I think, remain the same, I think. Maybe with some uh, oak wood down the... I'll tell you what. Right, we're going to use those other building materials for the industrial area today. Let's try some stuff with wood. Alright, we've got access to different types of wood now. Maybe I should think about what ones mix. Like, jungle... Maybe I'll do a spruce and dark oak. Have we got dark oak yet? I don't think we've got dark oak. Hmm. Creeper B grew. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is it going to stay on its lead? Oh my god. It is. Oh, I thought, it kind of looked like maybe it wasn't. Two of them two of them grew up. That's amazing. We can actually go put them in our system. So this is just going to be constant distractions now. But it needs to be done. So the creeper bee. Okay. Gunpowder sack. Uh oh. Charcoal, sulfur, and nitrate. Okay, there, there are things here. Oh no, we get gunpowder from sieving? We should have loads of it then. Why did I only think we had one piece of gunpowder? Oh. Oh, X, you're a Wally. You're a Wally. I'm unfollowing, said someone in chat. So if we go up here and just make the first one like that. There's, there's so, oh, that's another building material for the industrial area, isn't it? There's there's still more. Oh, this is quark. Man, quark really, like, a lot of the stuff quark does just feels like, yeah, that's what you need in vanilla, right? Just use all of that gunpowder and create another building block out of it. Why not? Okay, that's awesome. What we don't have up here is the timer and the repeaters set up. So, probably a good time to do that. Um, and if I remember correctly, what we want is... How does one become a Wally, says Ender Dan. You watch my streams, that's how. Oh, right. I lost my train of thought now. Redstone, repeaters. Uh, we've got to make the tile. 
the timer tile thing. Yeah, that can come away. Oh, I guess that means we can, if we've got loads of gunpowder, we can breed them up, like, super quick, get the numbers up. So we need those breeding chambers built. We just, dang it, I haven't finished building the, 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 the and the redstone, and the, the gold, and the chamber, and the, the, the what's the madoodles. Jeez. Jeez, pay attention. Pay attention, sir. It is that. With these. And those. And then the thing in the middle, right? See, I can remember. Right, if we go up, it goes straight into a repeater. Nope. Don't, don't hoover it up, as I was about to say. Don't hoover it up. We decided on that number, apparently. Zero here, a, a one over there. And then I think it just alternates, yep. How did it work at that bit? Could have literally just been a straight line between those two. I don't know how I didn't see that before. Then here it's slightly different. So I need to craft some more repeaters at another time. But that is in theory good to go. We can now put our creepers in there, but we want to breed their numbers up. So we need to build another room for which I was starting to investigate the decorations of. Let's go grab some more uh, blocks. I love this song. I think this is my favourite song on the playlist. This one right here. Whenever it comes round, I just I kind of remember the streams with this as the, uh, the soundtrack. Now I'm I'm wondering if maybe what we might end up doing is actually taking that material out of there and having hmm what would we have something else in the floor? That's for sure. We could, I think what we're going to do is change up the entire palette here, uh, which probably means we want to move everything over by a block. Let's. Let's start with a bit of a transition. Uh, what blocks are we going to use? So many questions. X, what are your thoughts on the parasocial relationships between streamers and their audiences? Undivastasis. I believe you can find some videos about that over on my uh, second, uh, sorry, Asuma Says channel. I mean, I, I believe that parasocial relationships are a thing and I like to inform my audience on what they are and to be aware of it. Um, but right now, like, right now I'm in build mode. It's build time, you know? So, suggestions, peeps. Suggestions on how we move forward here is what I'm after. What, like, should we give the jungle log a try? So when we come into this area, it's a transition. I, I love that texture. I, it's just like, what am I going to pair it with? That's what I'm thinking. Um... There's going to be a bit more to this here. I'm just thinking about how... It, oh, might actually just use the cobblestone. Being said, there's like an opportunity to do something slightly different here. Jungle looks great. What about using bricks? Bricks are sadly a bit expensive. Yeah, you know, so it's all good jumping into using jungle. We've got to consider that uh, not all materials are... Uh, three or cheap or whatever but we have seen you know some blocks come through like is there a beetroot block that seems like a quart told ya told ya it's a quark thing y'all oh I bet there's a ca cactus block in fact I've seen some really cool stuff with cactus uh, what was it the hermit crab mod back I'm squinting at my monitor now that looks so cool that looks so cool. Oh, look at this infantry. It's appalling. It's appalling.
Uh, where are we at? So we've got the beetroot crate. That'll definitely go in there somewhere. Probably a minor block. It's got that red that we're after. Okay, here. Oh, wow. That needs sorting out. So the nether warp block in vanilla could be a thing. And the nether warp sack. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to give that one a try next. Uh, what was it? All of them. Let me throw it away! <laughs> it's like a bug. Now, the side of the sack seems very similar to that gunpowder one. The top is gorgeous. There is, uh, there is utility here. There is utility. The thing I was thinking about was uh, maybe changing this transition, putting in a different colour here. Like, so each walkway kind of takes you into a new spot. And it would be easy to use jungle log as the roof. And I think if we did that, we'd want to avoid using it too much down below. So we're going to come over by one block so we have control of the walls in here. And if I go with that just over and over again, it's going to look a bit... Ugh. Side to that, however, I think you could tolerate bit of an industrial texture actually hmm, I don't know maybe that those those feel like maybe they're more sparse textures dang um, I don't think I don't think birch is gonna work in here oh, again look at this this is just let's get all of that in there and then let's get some of these things out of the way for a moment. Uh, let's check out the gunpowder sack again. Yeah, a little better, but too in too industrial. Might look good for the floor, but I think yeah, just it tilts in an industrial direction. Okay, um, so there is, what was the planks thing? There's like red planks. Oh wow, red, is that it? Because that is like hideously red. Oh, the achacha might go nice in this area. Did we farm that? I don't think we did. What's the betting that there's some sort of carrot block as well? Yeah, same deal again, but with the orange. It, it looks to me more like a, a room detail block than a building block. That, that's a little more plain. I think the uh, potato one here might have a touch more potential on that front. Put the uh, lead back in here. We need more of those. Okay, so uses for the potato. Oh, it's the first one. That's that looks like some sort of. Hmm. I think we can use that, but like it's 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 got more of a detail work feel to it than it does have a sort of build shape. You know, like it's not a wall. It's a it's a still a crate of potatoes. So when we come in here and we like spam it a bunch, I think it's going to. Uh... Hmm, there might be some cohesion there. What about those wall blocks as well, right? We got these, uh, what are they called? They're literally called wall, so they're an oak wall. Is there like other types? Rammed earth, white ash, oak wall. I don't think there's like spruce wall. White ash block. Hmm. A little bit beyond us at the moment. That being said, do we have bone mill? Because. It's also a bit too clean. That looks awesome. Huh. There is some cool stuff here, right? That looks crazy. Search cork to see all the cork stuff. Okay. 
Okay, let's give that a try. That's what I want. That's what I love this texture. Yeah, I'd actually yeah, it was quark that I used it before. Okay, I don't think it's gonna fit this room, but there's some good ideas here. Terracotta shingles, eh? Ah, look, there's some more stains. So what about red there? Is there a red one? Or oh, these these all look very light. No, it hasn't gone for all the different colours, just a few of them. Orange is probably the one that will complement uh, jungle with the most, but it's a bit a bit more colour. What is that? A stool? Wow. That's a nice block. Elder Sea oh man, there's so much gross glocelium, wow. So much cool stuff here. Don't even know where that comes from. Chiseled andesite. Brimstone. Huh. Oh, there's endless stuff. Endless stuff. Is that... I thought that was water. It's a sheet. Item frames can be coloured. Dang. <laughs> feel like I'm just... Uh, I'm just further lost in all the... All the options. Yeah, so where are we going to go from here then? I feel like we need a wall block. Definitely need that shape in here. Oops. Just uh, not seeing the right one. Maybe I could just use more of the round earth. Which we weren't using on that side. Let's go grab the round earth. Still haven't decided what's going to be my uh, ceiling. There it is. Got some of that. That'll probably match with the uh, potatoes pretty well. Yeah, kind of, they just sort of look all right next to each other. It's not a work of art. Okay, uh, how many how many blocks is this? This is one, two, three, and then you've got the back wall. That's one, two, three, and then the back wall's here. So we'd have more potatoes. Very orangey. Soft. It's like a soft orange. Uh, the room we created was five blocks wide. One, two, three, four. Four, five, and then you'd have the extra one, and then you'd have your next lot of potatoes here. Still not sure about the floor. Maybe we'll put some sort of dirt in there. But if we can just find find something like a glass that matches the stripped jungle wood, I think we're going to have to use more jungle wood because we've hardly used any. So for me to use a different texture around here. I don't think it would make much sense. Um, and then, maybe actually I'll just go with that there. That'll work. Okay, we'll, we'll figure this out. Get a few of those together. Um, so we'll do it differently here. We'll put it at that height. And then actually, maybe have that all the way across now. Although I do want the height of this room. Yeah, uh, okay, that's fine. Let's break that. Did I get it back? Nope, that's fine. So if I bring this all the way across, then occasionally there'll be pillars to hold it up. We can have these here with light sources hanging down from them. Let's go ahead... Uh, get a few more of those. Get our wand. We've got our wand. So this will be the top of the room. I mean, that looks fine, doesn't it? I think, if anything, maybe that should be stripped oak. Or, or maybe it should go to the top. Maybe not do that. That might help with the transition. So, oak wall. And then where's our oak wood? I haven't even got any oak wood on me. We got the proof to Cowie here for two months. Thank you so much, my dude. Appreciate it. Hi, Asuma. Still following you. Jeez. What? Oh, still following me? 
You haven't left? I'm, I'm amazed. Everyone else has left by now. Okay, these uh, industrial hemp fibres didn't have a home, did they? We'll just chuck them in over here. Okay, so we got some of that oak woods. No. Nope. How about those dark brick walls to Zapok? Well, they look like they went down a bit of a crafting rabbit hole, so I'm just going to give that a pass. You know? Wait, why was I trying to get that? Because then I decided that, oh no, actually, we don't need that. Oh, brain is so far behind itself sometimes. Wait, uh, that's what I'm looking for. We want to put it there. Yeah. Uh, so, oak wall, just just there. Oh my god! I thought the game crashed. <laughs> I thought the game crashed. Nope. No, it did not. This is simply over by one block, so that means the pillar would be higher. Uh huh. It's like we might get lucky and push all the bees into the room as we're building it. Okay, so then uh, this is like every one, two, every five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have another one, right? So now working on the entrance, we need some glass or something. So I saw some really cool glass in cork. There it is. What's this stuff then? Hmm. That looks interesting. So we use up some uh, some of our fancy iron and glass, and there it is. That's the original. Then okay. Then you make those. So what colour though, right? Let's have three of that for now. I think orange is the one to go with. Uh, orange will go nicely in there. What do you got those? I can use that actually. Oh, is that it? I've only got three. Okay. So we make some of those. Get that in there. Oh, they have to be a multiple of eight, I guess. Make some more then. So that and then there we go. Right, then we carve it down into those and we've got a whole stack. Sweet. Let's check it out, peeps. It better look good. It better look good. I think it looks great. It looks dandy. Definitely going to have to change the floor as we go along here. B, get out of my way! Bam. Thanks. By the way, they're all adults. So I can pick them up and put them in jars now. And uh, also maybe breed some of them. But when we have the babies, right, like we need them in a big open area. So that's why I brought loads of cobble, by the way. So as we expand this, we still need like uh, a spot for all of them to hang out. Okay. Get grab the glass right here. They're all hanging out over there. Very good. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to breed the creepers, I think, before we put them away. Basically, everything here needs breeding. I've got my gunpowder. Uh, we'll do this like one thing at a time, and we'll definitely do redstone. Ooh. Oh, I know why that's happening. It's because we're full up over here. Oh yeah, so let's keep those ones down there because they're babies at the moment. Right, so we have four. Those should all be pairable, yeah. There you go. No, there's three of that one. Um, yeah, okay, so now we breed up our creeper bees, right? Oh, hey, 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 hey. One, two, one, two, and then 
Either I get the they'll they'll stick around here, won't they? Leads. Where am I? I've only got one. Oh wait, surely I'd have more because all the ones that I just took off. Right, you go there. Oh my word! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. No, no, no. Bad decisions were made. Bad decisions were made. Baby B, please, please. Oh, oh! Somehow I, somehow I saved the day after definitely putting it in jeopardy. Okay, that was frantic. That all went wrong. We lost a lot of leads. When do I get them back? I think it's when I take them out again. I don't know. I thought you could get these back. Uh, yeah, so two baby bees. Gonna move these somewhere else. Hello. Goodbye. See, I didn't get my leads back. Let's break this and see if we get them then. Three. What about now? No. So I've got three. Hmm. So over here. That's when you get it back. Okay. When you take it out again. Cool. So we'll wait for them to grow into adults. Did we get the... Uh, yeah, look at that. Modified entity of creepy, uh, Creeper Bee. So we can go put that in our system and start making them now, which is really cool. But also, obviously, I've filled up... Um, freed up some space over here. We haven't built a ceiling yet. We haven't put in lighting fixtures. The lighting fixtures are going to be pretty straightforward. Yeah, more leads in your drawers. Do I? Do I now? Are they in front of me? Am I being a derp? I don't see them. But I could be wrong, right? I could be horribly hor- Oh, there they are. Oh, lovely. Thank you for that tip. Okay. So now you can see we start to encounter a little bit of a problem. Which we can do that to solve. So, where the wand be? What's the space behind me to walk? So each time we hit the middle, we put in a light source. Bam. Very good. Or maybe, maybe we want them a little more frequent or closer together or something. We do it like that. Yeah, that looks a little better on the ground. So we'll probably introduce some sort of like glowstone block somewhere around here. We haven't put in our player walkthrough thing. We've actually only got those two. So we need to make more. Sandstone floor. That's a great idea. We don't have a lot of sand though. It'd be a lot of work to do. Yeah, I'm not going to craft that just this moment then. Okay, the ceiling in here, however... We've established that the baby bees are probably just going to take damage wherever they go. I think it's going to be the uh, planks. Or maybe... What about birch? Birch planks in there. I put some birch over here, didn't I? Uh, let's go with 15. Okay, this will... Yeah, we'll put it there. We'll go over the top of all of that. Very good. Now I need to place one just... No, it doesn't know. It doesn't know what I'm trying to do, peeps. It doesn't know. Okie dokie. There it is. A roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Cool. We can get a couple of uh, rooms here put together pretty quick at this pace. But where is the next thing that I need? I guess I could place those while I'm looking. Potatoes is what I'm after. Potato, potato. There they are. Something to hold up the roof. Cool, now we need that, uh, what's this stuff, ram dirt again? Is Skybees the actual name of the mod pack? It looks so cool, says 
three seven belly. It is, yeah, it is. I'd I'd honestly say, uh, having played it for a while now, I don't think it's that great of a mod pack. If you're new to modded Minecraft, then there's, you know, being introduced to all the modded stuff is probably going to be a lot of fun. But as far as a mod pack go, it goes, it kind of hinges around its uh, bee breeding mechanics, which is essentially the same thing over and over again. So you're just kind of like breeding your way through this uh, abstract, uh, sort of randomly driven tree for progression, a tree of technology. And it's it doesn't require a lot of the player, just just grindy breeding really, like not a lot of innovation. Um, the stuff we've had fun doing is built around that, like creating rooms and contraptions and whatnot. That that stuff's been awesome, but it doesn't really drive you in that direction. Do we not have one for red dye? No. Let's make one then. Okay, uh, so we need more potatoes. We need the rammed dirt thing next. What am I trying to do here? I don't know. That. <laughs> then this. The walls. There we go. Plenty amount of those. Potatoes next, right? I'll probably turn off the F7 thing for a moment. Potato, potato, where are you at? We want those potatoes. Uh, we've got to go with the uses. Now I want potatoes, says Bree7. Yeah, we. I, I had uh, some potatoes. I cooked myself a sagaloo for, uh, for lunch and it was just scrumptious. It was wonderful. There you go. Let's also use a bit of that. Cool, two rooms now, uh, with no entrances. But we'll walk in, work with the bees that are in here and walk out again. Light source and the ground are the other things I want to work on. I feel like the entire cobble texture could be changed out. Maybe we'll do that another time, like... I did also want to make the path through here a different material, but again, maybe just another time. Let's also uh, build up the jungle logs on this side. Now that they can be done like that. What are they in line with? They're in line with that. Okay. That means I can build up over this way. I think, yeah. I think that's where it goes. Oh, no. This bit goes up. And then they go across. Yeah, they go across. So that one wouldn't be so. Ugh. Big jump, big jump. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. One, two, three. Bam. That's where the next ones are going to go. And I can't reach. And then we strip them all. It's going to look quite cosy once it's built up a little bit more. Did that one right, excellent. Literal pro here, says Mando. Mandalorian, even. I've been watching season two of The Mandalorian. Great. Enjoying it. Really good. Nothing but good things to say about it. And I've only watched a few episodes. But it's good. We are going to have one. And we got like one missing. I thought it would have divided perfectly. Did we? Oh, I don't have the uh, I don't have the gunpowder to grow them up. Oh, we never set up the uh, these fellas. Oh, and distractions are everywhere. We never set these up either. Okay, so we've got to get one thing done this stream. And that one thing 
is some gunpowder. Some gunpowder critters. Hello, good sirs. I could also breed them inside of here, and then they would have a baby bee. Oh my god. Quick, grab the gunpowder. That's a great idea. Quick. There it is. Get it. Up you go. Breed them. Breed them before it's too late. No. Oh, they only bred a minute ago, didn't they? Because they're down. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. We'll pull you out to breed some more of you later. Look at your ugly faces. Oh, you're hideous. Monstrosity. That's what they are. A monstrosity. A monstrosity. Ridey J is here with the Prime. Ridey J, thank you for your Prime. Appreciate it, dude. Hope you're enjoying the stream. We should go check up on what we're doing down below. Let's eat some potatoes. No potatoes and naff. Let's eat some bread. We should check out on what we're doing down below because I've got a feeling some things are going to get stuck in the system, right? Do you remember that dimensional chest that we made earlier in the... Uh, the episode. It's finally now going to get utilized, technically speaking. Okay, so we've got steel. We might have some new stuff come through. There it is. I knew there'd be something like that going on down here. I knew it. I could smell it in my bones. Because that makes sense. The old smelling in the bones, eh, X? Okay. Uh, do we got a home for potatoes? No. Let's make a home for potatoes. Right, what are we doing now then? We've got the creepers set up. They're awesome. They're making... Hmm. There's actually no... Oh, I tell you what, we need a scraper, but there's no information on that yet. How, how do I not have the scraper bookmarked? Let's add that, and also the scraper. We will add this. So yeah, sticks and iron may break my bones. That is the old saying, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the old saying. Also, if you think about it, we might as well make uh, a whole bunch of these at once. Or at least fill up the first row. Because I've got a very nasty inventory. Might have already done this. Nope, haven't. Good stuff. Let me start. I've got exactly five if I do that. So we can go, boom, do the next row. Good stuff. Uh, another five. For the final row. We are all prepared over here. Might not have all the redstone done, but we are prepared. Yes, bones, the smelling organ, says Hellbell Glenn. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know where we're at. Isn't it sticks and... And at new many break my bones. <laughs> and at new many. Sticks and at new many. Let's get this thing all the way out over here. We want another one. Oh, this is nice now. The, the, there is some uh, chemistry in these textures, yeah. I mean, simple shapes. I feel like in vanilla you go a little further, but in modded you, you kind of just go with these new cool textures that you got. Tends to be uh, the trend you like. That's it. No, one more. Ah, we need more slabs. Yeah, we need a lot more slabs then, I guess. Dang, why do I walk all the way over there all the time? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with my brain? I thought about this earlier in the stream, right? It actually crossed my mind, believe it or not, peeps. And then I was like, that doesn't make any sense. You know? Be lazy. Literally be lazy. Okay? Thank me later. Be lazy and thank me later. There we go. I mean, how much sense did doing that just make? Like, a lot, I think? Yeah, pretty much a lot. One thing we don't have inside of here yet is lights. We are going to want to figure that one out at some point. And we need a little bit more glass over here, apparently. That doesn't connect. That means the bees will escape. They will escape. Uh, also, these ones are hanging out. Bee and homies. Uh, what one goes there? This one. If 
they just stay there for a moment, we can keep them inside of here forever. Maniacal laughter. <laughs> I'm not going to maniacally laugh, I'm just going to say it. Oh, actually, here it pretty much goes like all the way across. Uh huh. All the way over to there for now. One, two, three. Pretty good set of rooms, this. Minecraft Plus just dropped Pog. Okay, fishy man, you might be referring to some sort of uh, shenanigans with the old April Fools. Let's go find out if there is. Yep, there you go. They're doing their. Uh, they're doing it now. I think it's got to be Minecraft Plus. I'm having a look right now on stream. This is the April Fools thing. Ooh. Oh man, that's a lot of blocks on that image. It's a whole... Okay, it's a website or something? <laughs> I'm going to have to check out... It doesn't look like a big deal thing. It's a screensaver. Yeah, yeah, it kind of looked like that. Uh, I'll probably report on that later after I've had my lunch. Like, I'll uh, check it out, figure out what it's about. Doesn't look like it's a big deal thing, though. But I wanted to check, you know, if it was going to be like a snapshot and uh, a lot of, you know, interesting stuff going on. I'd want to check that out and cover it, but it doesn't look like that's what it is. Uh, a bit late to publish the April Fool's joke as well. Every time April Fool's comes around, I swear, there's always someone saying that there's a rule that if you do it before the middle of the day, it doesn't count. Or oh, sorry, like it ha you have to, you have to stop the jokes at midday. I feel like that happens every time. But I haven't seen any jokes until after midday. I mean, there's that pinch punch first of the month. Maybe that's the thing that you say you're not allowed to do after uh, a certain time. But that's like a kids thing, right? Yeah, before midday, says Rebecca. I guess it depends on time zones as well. Never heard that before, says Nisha Bun. I might be getting it confused with the, the pinch punch first of the month, which is like a silly thing. Um, but it's definitely, like, it's, oh, I've definitely heard this, like, you know, for the joke day or whatever, we have a rule, a supposed rule that you have to do it before a certain time. But I could simply just be misremembering. Who knows? Right, Civ goes somewhere. There. Right, we've done a lot of work. We have we've built up a new room. We've got textures in place for another one. And I really like how this new colour just intrudes here slightly. We're gonna do that in the other spots as we build it out. Um We're gonna have to do the paths. We need to create the doors next for these rooms. That's what I was trying to get to in my head, not actually doing B stuff yet. Okay, so, uh, we need to make this, which means we need some of those, and I think we can just use regular stone. So the main thing is that we get four. That's two rooms. We've got six in total. So we'll make three golden picks. Uh, we'll get rid of all of that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, then we make the uh, fence gates. So I can't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about this. I, I got something in my head that I can't seem to like get rid of this feeling. Um, but it's weird. Like it doesn't make any sense. I got to do stuff tomorrow where it involves me basically having a large portion of my day sitting around, not knowing what's going on, not knowing what to do, right? And it will force me to therefore have no, no commitment to productivity and I'm actually like I feel this like oh, I'm looking forward to that and it's super boring like I gotta do something super boring but I'm kind of like looking forward to it I think it's just like you like you you kind of know that you just want just want a bit of downtime I think like and it's imposed on you as opposed to choosing it like choosing not to be productive is kind of like whoa this song is cool, says Tying Sat. Yes, it is. You have passed the test. 
Ow. What? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's going to kill me. No, don't kill me. You could be a friend. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die, peeps. Quick, i got to use my brain smarts. Scaffolding. You don't know how to climb scaffolding, do you? With the, oh, no, don't fight. Oh, damage. Uh. Okay, I'm going to... I'm getting beaten up by a child. A small child is destroying me. It's just something different, X, is when you see board. Yeah, and we're in the middle of lockdown fatigue, right? Oh, lockdown fatigue. Uh, I can say it all the time. I feel like I've had uh, like a good streak for a few days of just feeling okay with it and knowing what I'm doing. But man, like I just I constantly notice how even stuff that I like love doing, like writing about music, making videos, not streaming. Streaming's super easy. Um, various, just various parts of the day and the normal routine. Like, oh my god, it's still there. It just gets like... Okay, cool. Done. It just gets... I don't know, like... It's just the same thing over and over again. And uh, even though you love it and it's what you do, you need all that other stuff. You need all of that, like, break and whatnot. There might be a bit of a problem here if a bee kind of like nudges in and then realizes it can go through. That's a potential downside of the way this is currently set up. And obviously we're missing a bit there. So let's give it a test. Um, so if we try and do this differently, we, we can't let the baby bees stay in the area is the sad thing. Maybe we could if we leash him down with a fence inside one of those areas. Oh yeah, we need to breed all the bees that are actually in there as well. Okay, let's go grab... Uh, let's, let's start with the redstone. Oh, which I need redstone to breed with. Didn't think of that. Did not think of that. So this will be an experiment. If we lose the baby bee to damage, like it's it's okay, it's not the end of the world. I mean, for for that that bee it is, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna put that there for light. So I don't need these to be leashed. They are, and oh, look at that. They think they're leashed to a block that's no longer there. Fascinating. So I can I can do this, but then the baby bee I want to leash. Baby bee get leashed. Now I don't know if that will. Okay, that seemed to maybe help. I think that helped. We'll leave it in here as an experiment. Also, experiment! Experiment! Oh, you hit the box! Right! Right, yeah. Okay, so it, I can go through it, they can't. The hitbox is there for them. I was kind of thinking maybe like it was a pathfinding thing, but no. So, those doors will work. That's terrific. They look ugly, but they'll work. Okay, um, yeah, so that's promising, and the baby survived. Maybe we'll do this with a couple more things. Now, Fluix, Certus Quartz, we're going to have to get them in the system to get some items before we breed them. Nether Quartz, oh, we've got a Nether Quartz down here. I think that one's a baby at the moment. So we could put that out somewhere and let it grow up. We'll put it in this room. Oh, they've grown up. Well done. Um, in which case... Oh, oh, with you flying away. Okay, I'm going to get some gunpowder now. Did I read that one out? Righty J, 13 minutes ago, subscribing. Not sure that I did. I've been so engrossed in the bees. Thank you ever so much. Appreciate the support there. Okay, uh, we need to breed these creepers. Because we want four more in total. But now we've got these rooms set up. Don't take damage. You didn't take damage. Oh, it might be because we've got slabs up there now. That could be the difference. Cool. Okay, that's promising. We'll keep an eye on them, and that could be the difference. Um, yep, baby B still good. So now we're in a position to... Yeah, basically start breeding these up proper. Like, this little bit of room infrastructure will go a long way. Um, I should probably put all of those back in their cages, but we're just going to do more of that next time. I don't think I'm going to AFK in the world. I don't think we need that. Uh, what we do need is for me to clear up some inventory space. Tools. Back you go. Um, 
bee related things over here. But I could really do with just double clicking and getting rid of everything. You should make a baby room and a room for each bee, says Dabmaster. As we play, we'll probably figure out what's the best way to organise it. As of right now, I'm not entirely sure. Um, we're just going to see how it is as we go. Now, the problem with these ones is that we can't breed... Oh, do you know what? Wait a minute. There's another problem. Let's, like, for example, let's go to the quartz bee, right? Nether quartz bee. This is probably the most doable one that we got. Block of quartz. But we can get that from somewhere else. Get it from Soul Sand. So we probably already got some of that. But the other ones, I don't think we have. The Fluix, for example. Fluix B will probably require a Fluix block. So where do we get this from? Sand from Fluix Dust. Oh, I remember this stuff. It's... Uh, yeah, growth accelerators. So it's it's going to be like not something we can do straight away. But what we can do, obviously, is make this block. Uh-huh. Go up here. Uh, put this there. And put in our nether quartz, which we have two of. One. And two. Oh, wait a minute. I could breed them together. Why did I think I couldn't do that? Because initially I didn't think I had... Yeah... Silly me. I think I'll leave that one in there and we'll do it like that for now. We can do the same with the creepers as well, but we got three of those. And it got its uh, its tag. Cool. Very cool, my friends. Very cool. We did a lot today. It was good. And some of that stuff should get automated and all this. Uh, but it is, as you know, the end of the stream for me. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the follow button. Uh, Iskow is doing the final day of his Vault Hunters, so I'll send you over there today. Uh, i got to shoot off, though, so I won't be able to catch much of it myself. Uh, yeah, hit the follow button and hit the raid button. Big thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated, and cheered. Thank you to all of my patrons. I'll see you soon with more Skybees. Bye-bye.